really like this Seal and Shine Turtle Wax. Thank you so much for sending it to me. It's a two thumbs up product for me. I absolutely love it. I'm not just saying this. I'm not getting paid for this. This is not a sponsored video. They sent this to me to try. Welcome back to Fabulum of Detailing. In this video, we are going to review a brand new Turtle Wax product. It is called Turtle Wax Ice Seal and Shine. Let's do it. So about a month ago, Turtle Wax sent me a few products from their 2019 product line. So I'm really excited about this product. Uh, it says it's a hybrid. Uh-oh, that might start some controversy right there. Uh, synthetic sealant infused with carnauba wax for superior repellency and shine. And it says su super hydrophobic. Uh, and you guys know Turtle Wax. Turtle Wax has been around forever. They are one, I mean, for a long time, Turtle Wax. I remember... When I turned 16, as soon as I got my first car, I went to Walmart and I got a can of turtle wax. Man, I was in, I was in heaven. I was out waxing my own car. You know, that wax kind of sucked to get off, but I was in heaven at that point. The garage might open, just to give you guys a heads up. I'm waiting for my wife to get home. Um, I'm gonna read you the back of the bottle. It says, superior repellency shine protection, super hydrophobic formula for superior water beating and repellency. Months of durability and protection. Carnauba wax adds a deep, glossy shine, makes future cleaning easier. New ice seal and shine is the fastest way to seal in months of protection and shine. Produces incredible beading and slickness for easy maintenance. Now directions say shake bottle well, wash car before applying, which I have. Uh, spray concentrated formula lightly onto car, one panel at a time. Firmly wipe a wipe with a clean microfiber towel. And then it says note for best shine and beading, paint should be free of oxidation and surface contaminants, which it is. Clay or polish finish first if needed. Can be used on wheels, exterior glass and plastics. Use a damp microfiber or rinse with water to remove streaks or excess product if required. So if we find out we need, we have streaks, now we have to know how to get it. the streaks disappear. Because a lot of products, I've heard people complain that they got streaking. You're like, how do I get it out? Well, at least, at least Turtle Wax tells you that. There is a shine tip. Tur use ice snow foam wash to safely clean. Okay, well, I can't do that. I had to do this inside. I used a rinseless wash from another company. It's been pouring down since yesterday. It is still raining today. I'm doing this detail for my grandparents. I was supposed to do a full paint correction detail on this car, and I can't because it's pouring down rain. I, I washed it inside with a rinseless wash, and my grandma doesn't really want to get it back in the rain, so she's going to get it back in the rain with a little bit of protection on it because there's really nothing left over from last year's sealant that I put on it. So I figured this is a great time to use this. The, the paint is free of contaminants. I already did that. So we're just going to apply this. We're going to see how long it lasts. And when she picks it up tonight, it should be still raining by looking at the radar. And we'll see how well it repels water. So let's uh, get the camera set up. Let's get this thing going. Okay, so it says to shake first. So we're going to shake it. Now I want to let everybody know what I'm using. I'm using Shiny's Details 500 GSM edgeless microfibers for the initial wipe. And I'll use Shiny's Details Super Plush microfibers, which are a crazy soft for the final wipe. And it is shaking up. Let's open it. Let's see what happens here. I don't want to put too much on because it says it does it says to not apply a lot. It's very smooth. The surface is very smooth on this vehicle. They don't drive that much, especially on the interstate where you get most of your contaminants. It smells pretty good no issue streaking whatsoever right there looks really good I'm having a hard time telling if it added gloss but i'm pretty sure it did it smells i don't know what that smell is i say that all the time it smells like an aftershave like like my dad had when i was a kid it smells extremely good all right so we're gonna spray it up there like i said i'm not trying to use too much because it says what were the exact words says spray concentrate for me lightly onto car. So we're basically just wiping this wax in. Hopefully the camera, the GoPro is picking that up. How easy it is. And I see no streaking again once whatsoever, even with just not even hitting it with the dry towel yet. The plushy, super plushy. But if we do get streaks, we know how to get rid of them. So that's all that's very important. 
Okay, let's move on to the next section. Once again, I've said this a couple times. That is so slick, just rubbing the product in. It's very slick, so it's, it is high in lubricity, which is very important for all of us that love detailing cars. Man. And I don't, I think this is like a $10 product at Walmart, and I've almost bought it, I don't know how many times, and then they sent it to me, so, wow. That hood looks absolutely amazing. It looks extremely good. And it rubs in extremely easy. Extremely easy. I have heard really good things about Turtle Wax's Ice Line. I've just, I've never bought it. They sent it to me. I don't think I'm gonna have an issue with streaking at all. Oh, that, that just feels really, really nice. Let's get the, uh, let's get the flashlight out and see if we got any streaking. See if there's any streaking. I see no streaking at all. Really good gloss. Oh, that's messing the screen up. And look at that gloss. That is really good. So far, I like it. Yeah, I don't see any streaks. Let's look at it up here. Let's see if we can tell the difference. So I did this right here. And I didn't do this over here. There's like a good 50-50, I think, right there. In person, there is definitely more gloss over here. It's not a ton, you guys, but there's definitely more. Looking at it right here. See, it kind of... I don't know if you can see that or not. It's real glossy. And as you get over about here, it kind of loses its gloss. So, yeah, it does add gloss like it says it does. See? Nothing but rain ever since yesterday. You guys, I am super, super happy, excited about this. Look at that paint. Now I know I didn't show it to you before because I actually didn't plan on making this video today. I planned on doing the interior like I told her last night when she dropped off and it was raining. So I'm just gonna do the interior and that's out of the way. The next time you bring it to me, I'll do the outside. Well, while I was in here, I got the interior done. I was like, you know what, I can wash this thing really quick. And I forgot, I got a turtle wax product I can put on. So and you can get to see it when it's dirty. But look at it. I have I had zero nada issues with streaking. None. It looks extremely good. And yes, there's gonna be that few people that say, well, you used the wrong color car to show how good this product is. Sorry, this is what I had. I don't rent cars to put products on. I use different products in different situations, like this situation. I was gonna throw a different type of spray wax on it, but then I remember I had the turtle wax, so I'm really happy. Another shot of the hood. Definitely added some gloss, not a lot, but it definitely added some. And this is going to get them by, it's probably gonna be a month or so before you can get them back in here. So it says it lasts months, plural. So hopefully it does and it gets them by until I can get it back in here, so. There you go. It looks extremely good. Really, really happy with it. Okay, so it's actually been a little over a month since I did this because it has not rained every time they've stopped by the house. Every single time. Well, today she came back for me. It's raining, so I'm gonna show you guys. Well, it's raining. It's just got bugs all over it already. Really tight beading, as you can see. It's really good on the fenders. Down the doors, on the roof. Looks good. I wish it was pouring down rain, but it's not. I'll show you one more time on the hood. Holding up really well. It's been a little over a month, so that's really good. So this is a two thumbs up product. Oh my gosh, I like it a lot. And I'd venture in saying it's the easiest spray wax slash spray sealant product that I have ever, 
ever used out of all these products I have in my garage, have all the products I've tried in the past. This is by far the easiest spray, spray on uh, wax that I have ever used. And it makes the surface extremely slick and smooth to the touch adds some gloss and it doesn't it's not over glossy it doesn't add a ton of gloss but it adds gloss i'm just excited about it you guys it, it, i had a smile on my face the whole time that i was using this product i'm hoping that it is very hydrophobic i hopefully already showed you that prior to this clip because it was misting it was raining all day long until my grandma came to pick it up and then it was misting so i didn't get to get a good uh, water test for you guys, but I will get one for you guys and hopefully I already showed it to you. Turtle Wax has stepped their game up. I haven't used Turtle Wax products since I was about 16 years old, really, 16, 17. I, that's not true because I have their uh, bug and tar remover, but as far as these ice lines, I've never used the ice lines and I am super, super impressed by this. Very user friendly. I think all of you would, would enjoy using this product. $9.97 at Walmart. You cannot beat that price. And I, I venture in saying you could probably get 10 cars out of this bottle because I, I really feel like I hardly used any product on that car. And yeah, it's a kind of a small car, but I feel like I used hardly any product on it at all. Um, so I appreciate you guys stopping by. I really had a lot of fun doing this. I had a smile on my face the whole time I was using it, even when I turned the camera off. I was, you guys kept hearing me say, oh, it's so smooth. It's just what was coming to my mind as I was using it. And that's what I try to do in these videos. I, I try to review them the very first time I ever use them. So you guys kind of get a idea of what I think of it the very first time I use it. Cause that's when you really know if you're gonna like a product in my opinion. Um, so hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button while you're down there. Ring that bell so the next time I upload a video, you get notified. Don't forget, every Saturday night, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we go live. I'd like to see each and every one of you there.